To start it off, my name is Bree When I was young, I was so blind and couldn't see People told me I could be anything I wanted to be But I was just a kid in Chattanooga, Tennessee But I knew God could do everything but fail My mom had bills she couldn't pay So they ended up, we ain't had no place to stay Plus we poor cause we ain't got no money So I guess it's safe to say I was a funny poor dummy Told my mother through my music I was gonna be a preacher And let God be my keeper So if you're hearing this, I hope the Holy Spirit reach you And let God be your keeper Yeah <laughs> My history as a child growing up lived in public housing, the projects, but also lived in a shelter. And I was in constant reminder of the fact that I was poor. Uh, my father, he wasn't, you know, never there. Like, you got a great opportunity to invest in my life and be there. You dropping the ball, <laughs> like, it's like, where are, where are you at? I'm here now, like. While we were living in the shelters, I didn't know much about God. I thought that he was somebody with a lot of rules that I did not match up to. And living on some kind of throne somewhere else other than where I was at. My grandmother was the first real believer that I seen living out their walk with Christ. So that made me hunger for a relationship with God. And then one, one day I was invited to go to a church from one of my friends. The heart that I had was one with a lot of rules. So I accepted Christ that day. From then on, I was like, you know what? This, this relationship right here is banging. How about like I do something with it? Somehow God brought me in contact with Jack Noonan from Student Venture, my mentor, my my second father, as I would like to call him now. I know a boy named Bree. He couldn't even walk when he was three. <laughs> Some people said he looked like a tree, but it's just Bree. <laughs> I was saved before I met him, but then I started being discipled. I got to talk to him and he just discipled me, helped me through high school. He really took me in and I felt like his family was my family. So we started Bible studies on in my high school on campus where we was meeting with like like a hundred kids a week and 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 even when I left they still still kept going with that Bible study and a lot of people was able to be introduced with the gospel of Christ that changed my life so I know it changed other people and now from my relationship with Student Venture I've started somewhat of a ministry of my own like with music gonna be a good night. Come on. God is using me to go back into the places where I came from um, and give back. I am a hip hop artist that gets people jumping up out of their seats, their hands waving, people smiling. I get to use my musical gifts for God's glory. Jack, my student venture leader, impacted me. I'm one person, I go out and impact 10 people. Maybe, maybe stop somebody from committing suicide. You know, that person goes out and impact, impacts 300 more people. You are now witnessing a generation that has the possibility to be transformed. So, I think by investing in even one kid's life, you are, you are impacting the world, man. Okay, y'all talk about me outside.